Hello everybody and welcome to part 17 of Pokemon Fire Red. This video is brought to you by GameIn1.com and last episode we finished off Pokemon Tower, putting Marowak's ghost to rest and fending off Team Rocket. So in this episode, we will be going down the long path to Fuchsia City, battling tons and tons of trainers. So along the way, I want to buy some super potions. Um, I have some antidotes, I don't have any paralyzed heals, so I do want to buy some of those. I don't think I'm gonna need burn and ice heals. Um, and revive, how many of them can I buy? 60? I'll buy 10. So now, I uh, to do a recap on my Pokemon here. We have level 34 Rise, 35 Grotus, 35 Mandragola, 36 Tiju, and an Oddish. We'll be catching our next Pokemon in this video. Um, actually, we'll see if we do or not. I'm not actually 100% sure. Now, um, is this the place where I can get the TM return? Yeah, you talk to this girl, and she gives you a pretty helpful move. My Pokemon Sash is restored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Which is return. The more your Pokemon likes you, the more damage it'll do. I think it has up to a base power of 90, which isn't too bad. But we don't have a normal type Pokemon, so I don't plan on using it. We might have a normal Pokemon. And oh, hey. Yeah, I got a bite here. Fisherman! Long time no see, it's been a while. When was the last time we seen you? The SSN? Ned and his gold bean. Yeah, really easy. So, you guys seem to be liking my channel a lot lately. You guys are enjoying it, getting more fans. Um, a lot of you guys really like my Super, Mar uh, Super Mario World Let's Play. Do you guys want me to do Super Mario 3D World 2? Or do you guys just want me to do other games that aren't as new. Personally, it's up to you guys. I really don't mind doing different types of games. Like, I like to have a huge variety. It's kind of weird that I'm doing three Nintendo games in a row, because my channel started off with three PlayStation Let's Plays only. Not Nintendo at all, because I didn't have any Nintendo things to record. Now I have a ton, and ooh, Cross Chop! Um, yeah, we're finally getting rid of Rock Tomb. Same PP as Rock Slide, same accuracy, Rock Slide's better. And Cross Chop does a ton of damage, if it hits. And since, you know, we're a fighting type, a good fighting move is key. Now, we don't have Surf yet, so we can't get that. Mm, yes, fishing is a waiting game. That's why I don't like to fish. Just my opinion. Tentacool. We don't get to test Cross Chop on you. I don't plan on using Cross Chop on anything here, really, anyway. Not for a while, at least. Now this path, or this route, I should say, is filled with trainers. Like, it is ridiculous. If you like fighting trainers, this is your path. And with the VS Seeker in hand, you can ba re-battle any of them over and over. It's just, this game, the concept of re-battling was amazing. Tons of trainers, tons of chances to level. By the time I got to the Elite Four on my good file, they were annihilated. I'm sure I'm not using that team now, but like, otherwise I would have Jolteon instead of Vaporeon. Instead of Mandragol, I'd have like, um, like Jinx. It's just, uh, different choices personally. Now we have Hank, which only has one Goldeen. You guys are bent on using Goldeen. It's a higher level, let's try Cross Chop. See if it hits. Yeah, there we go. That should easily knock it out. It has, a, it has a really high critical hit ratio, too, but it does have a high chance of missing. We're making a ton of money off these guys, too. Um, another fisherman, eh? You guys just don't want to give up. Uh, fisherman. Are you going to actually have something different? Oh, four Pokemon. Starting off with a Poliwag. Poliwag is such a weak Pokemon, though. There's, like, nothing to it. It's just a little... Spirely Zmoochie Tadpole. Apparently its stomach's transparent so you can see its insides. Ah, Shelter, a Pokemon that I was actually going to get until I decided to get Vaporeon, aka LP Rotus. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, you should totally check him out. Um, same with Tju22. If you like wrestling, Star Fox, and Kirby, he even has some... Um, uh, a new Super Mario Bros. Wii and Donkey Kong Country Returns on his channel too. I highly recommend you check him out. Good the LPs too. 
Now, if you guys actually want to see LPs by world, like, if I'm playing a game like Donkey Kong, or Pokemon, or anything like that, where it has areas, then let me know, because I'll happily do it by area, so just this route, or just this level. Sure, it'll be in more parts, but it'll be quicker and easier to upload, so then I can upload, you know, three, four, maybe even five parts a day, versus, you know, one. But I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, guys. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Well, why don't you propose to Gia to begin with? Like, doesn't that just sound, sound mean when you're not going to propose? Ah, Needle... Needle Rans. Really? I thought we were over Needle Rans. These are like baby Pokemon. Let's use Rock Slide, and you just use Water Pulse. Helping Hand. Not going to do much. Rock Slide hits both of them. Nice. Oh, I'd almost KO'd it, and yeah, see, Nidoran female is obviously the more defensive one, but I don't think it really matters which Pokemon I KO first. That experience is like, baby, double kick, you're a poison type. If anyone knows any move that, you know, should be like, that is me. I'll just quick attack. Quick attack should... Ah, helping hand failed. Quick attack should finish it off. Now, don't poison point me. Poor Gorotus doesn't need to be poisoned, Tiju's already been poisoned enough. Anyways, here we have Snorlax. Yeah, we'll just use the Poke Flute, which also has one of the best themes ever. Nah, not really. I'm not gonna catch this one, I'm just gonna KO this one. And you guys will find out why, because there is a second one. You guys obviously seen it in... Is it part... What is it, 12 or 13 or something? I don't even remember what part it is. He's level 30 though, which is nice. But I don't plan on using him on my team. And Whoa! A snore? You know what? Just to be fun, I'm going to try and catch him with a Pokeball. I'm not going to use him on my team, but if I can catch him with this Pokeball, that would be nice. Nah, I didn't think I would. If he uses rest, I'm running away. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna KO you. Simply because you're worth the experience. And yes, you can wake up because you have a Chesto Berry. See, Chesto. Now, time for this cross chop to show off its true power. Don't miss. How can you miss something that's like standing still? And that headbutt's gonna do a lot. He has high attack, and he's a normal type, so he gets stabbed from it. See, crit. Awesome. We should actually get a level from this. Hopefully. Yeah! So let's see your attack stat now. 97 and 88 speed. Yeah, he's an overall pretty good Pokemon. Return to the mountains. It's funny is, funny thing is, though, there are no mountains in Kanto. Now, there you can get the EXP share over here, but I don't have enough Pokemon. I think you need 50. I will catch enough Pokemon later. Or it's like 25 or something like that. But, in here, you do get another awesome item. I am the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing, but I can't I can't bear to go without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Get the super rod before you get the good rod. Now, according to the game, what you were supposed to do, you were supposed to go down Cycling Road first, then go down this route, because in Future City, you get the good rod. Why they made it like that, I don't know, because you get both the rods in that short time frame. And electric type against grass? Oh, this will be easy. Uh, wait. Dude, you know what? I'm a pro Pokemon battler here, and rockers look cool in this game. They really have no, you know, resemblance to being a rocker at all, but they still look cool. Screech, lower defense, useless for a special attacker. Don't know why they ever gave you that a nice Giga Drain should show you otherwise. Oh, of course you lived. Acid. Oh, wait a minute. Nobody does no self, uh, physical move. Self-destruct. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. Electrode. Well, Rise, honestly, is the only thing that I have that can really seriously take down freaking um, Electrodes. You know what, Electrode? Cross Chop. Eat this. Awesome, and it can't paralyze you because it doesn't have static in this game. I think static's actually its hidden ability. At least I think. I'm not 
100% sure on that one. Ooh. God, I can use get no oh, use poison types. Can't use magic goal on you. But Grotus can. Let's see here. I have like two or three of them in my bag. But I'm not giving them to you, punk. Justin with his needle runs. Wow, yeah, see that's all that double battle gave me for experience. That was like nothing. Now, I'm kind of regretting Mandragola. Mandragola is becoming a very useless Pokemon on my team. Like, it's good against water types, but Giga Drain has like no PP and absorbed it no damage. Wow, nice crit Grotus. Yeah, Grotus, is, Grotus and Tiju are still my best Pokemon, by far. Is this an Aether? Iron increases defense. I don't really have a defense. Well, I do. No, it's special defensive, right? Okay, that's water. So Mandragola can easily Giga Drain this thing. Um, you never know what you... Sounds like you're talking about STPs or something, man. Watch what you say. Magikarps. Really? These things are worth little experience, and they're just weak. They're pointless. So I'm going to use you for HP. That was like, see, they have little HP too. That was just bad. Ah, another Magikarp. Sup, Magikarp? I'm gonna use Acid on you. Yay! At least Acid could KO Magikarp. I feel so special. Do you just give me good money? You do too. Okay, now is there anything in there of importance? I don't think so. There's Tangela's in there if you want them. Carbos in the cave while he was spelunking. See, they used the word spelunking. Just like I did in my Mount Moon video. They copied me. Goldine, eh? You know, since this is a high level and I need more HP, Giga Drain! Also, one of the last water trainers to see for a while. Thanks, Goldine. Definitely had more HP than Magikarp. I don't get why that Magikarp was for, for randomly under level 2. Poliwag. A weak Pokemon again. I wonder if Acid is enough to KO it. Just, whoa! Glad it missed. Wait, did I buy Awakenings? I don't think I did. Now, don't let it... Okay, good. It just rain danced. The only problem with this game, though, is it shows it every turn that it's raining. Which gets just gets annoying after a while seeing it. It's not a bad thing, it just can get pretty annoying. And poor CA. These same old Pokemon. Over and over. We all know how this is gonna play out. You're gonna do three five damage, not bad, not bad. Oh, it's probably because of the rain, you probably did like one or two. Oh, you're far more defensive than Poliwag. Yeah, I thought it was good against Poliwag. Smoke screen. Which actually makes sense, cause wait, no it doesn't. You're not a squid. It's funny, there wasn't a squid Pokemon until Gen 6, and then it's like a land squid that floats in the air. Like, what the heck is that? I will never know why they chose that to be the squid Pokemon. It's what, Inkay and Malamar, which actually sound like Mayan things. Anyways, beat that Pokemon after missing a couple of times. Hey, let's carry on. All these battles say, my bird Pokemon want to battle with you. Yay, now we're getting to bird trainers. And Pidgey. Of course, Pidgey. The best Pokemon ever. Because, you know, everyone uses a freaking Pidgey in the game and freaking real life trainers. They all use Pidgeys. I bet you your next Pokemon's a Pidgeotto. I know exactly who's going to take care of that. Rotus, get your butt out here. I don't want to have Magicola die against a Pidgeotto. Look at that HP, 143. He towers above everyone else. Quick attack, y'all have to use quick attack on me. Because, you know, he can't deal enough damage to KO me without it. Now, let me use my own quick attack. There we go, that is what I'm talking about. Good job, Grotus. Fortunately, Jew hasn't really got to see any play since um, that gym. 
But he did have pretty much an entire video to himself, so... Oh, I ran right by you. I was looking down for a second to fix my foot. Like, my foot was stuck in a cord. Or, the cord was stuck around five Pokemon, really? Susie. Yeah, more Pidgeys. I wonder if we can KO with one acid. Oh, we still can't Whirlwind, but it failed. Nah, yeah, another acid. Wow, we're gonna run out PP with Mandragola before anything. At least we're level 36, which makes us somewhat stronger. And Meowth. Get the kitty cat, how are you doing? I want more HP, Giga Drain. Let's see if it kills it. Yeah, Meowth isn't very defensive. And now I guess we should use Grotus here to level him up to 36. Rattata! Guys, we're late in the game. That should be Eradicate, that should have been a Pidgeot. Okay, not Pidgeot, Pidgeotto at least. It was level 24. This is definitely Eradicate, by the way, but nope, you never evolved it. This waterfalls all your Pokemon. Pikachu, you know what? We'll easily outspeed a Pikachu. Ta da, we outspeed a Pikachu, and Pikachu isn't that defensive. Adios, Ashes Chew. Anyways, who do we have next? Another Meowth. Out of five Pokemon, you have two Meowths. Yeah, kinda old. Okay, now the next trainers I think coming up are grass type. I think. So I don't want to use Grotus just in case. Just for, you know, pre-measures here. They're beauties, my least favorite character. It's funny, I think in all of Pokemon X and Y you fight one beauty. One or two beauties in the entire game. It's like, least use character. No, you have Rattatas. My least favorite Pokemon in the world. Just because of your annoyance and overusedness in this game. Who's next? Pikachu. Might as well keep fighting. Lola. That's like a tuber girl in Gen 3 games, well, other than this one. Ah, oh, even you can take down Pikachu. Is someone pressing that? Another Rattata? Not even a challenge. Ah, that was an easy trainer. Nonetheless, well, I was, I was just saying that, and the next thing you know, the Rattata lives, and you're like, oh snap, why did it live? Why did I even say that then? $1,900, though, just for finding these trainers. Ridiculous. Every game, though, has a trainer that, or battle, or creature that gives you a lot more experience than, ugh, Clefairy. That was off. The grass trainers aren't here yet. Follow me. You know that's useless in single battles, right? Someone forgot to tell you. Should've known better. Eh, at least I'll knock you on another hit. Goodbye, Clefairy. Do you have a Jigglypuff next? Meow. Oh, not the Pokemon I was thinking. Why does everyone have Meowth? Growl. Useless. I'm a special attacker. Nah. Good job. Payday, Chink. Coins scattered everywhere, which is useless to me because I won't get a single coin. Goodbye. Adios, Kit Kat. Sheila. I work with a Sheila. 2088. That's a lot of money. What about you? Oh man, I forgot to switch into Grotus. I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, at least you have water types, and they're just getting higher and higher leveled. Oh no, don't tell me I'm gonna become under leveled here. Under leveled. Under leveled. Acid. Did nothing whatsoever. Water gun! Well, anyways, that was an easy polywag. You should be down in 3, 2, 1, go boom! Mm -hmm. Polywag again. Rise, you'll just do it. Because Grotus, he does have bite and quick attack, but it's not guaranteed that bite will do enough damage to KO it, even in two hits. Because it's more of a special attacker than physical. And. 
it's water move, it's polywax resistant, it might even have water absorbed to completely make water moves useless. But Valerie is down by giving me cruddy money compared to the uh, other trainers I was just fighting. Skimping on the money, eh? Not very nice. Okay, nobody up there, there's just this girl here. Your cute Pokemon wish to make my acquaintance? Nah, um, my Pokemon are too good for yours. Gwen and your Pidgeys. I used to know Gwen, she's pretty insane. She's a good friend, but she's still insane. Goodbye, Pidgey. Sayonara. Who's next? Meowth. Pidgeys, Meowths, Poliwags, and Goldeens. Why don't you guys ever get anything new? These are easy Pokemon, but they're not worth a lot of experience. They're just using up all my PP. Hey, my PP. There, I knew you learned Aurora Beam. Like, really? I was wondering when you learned it. You are seriously way better than Mandragola. I'm actually thinking of ditching Mandragola just because it's a hassle. And in one of the newer videos, I don't know if it's going to be this one, because... I don't know, it's... I don't really want to do it in this video, but I will catch another Pokemon. Even if it's towards the end of the video, then I'll just turn it off screen to, you know, match the level of my guys. Maybe level them up a little bit, because they seem to be under leveled. Not by too much. Well, they're they're still over leveled, but for what they're finding, they take too much damage. And they don't know very good moves yet. Wow, yeah, that is way better than Water Pulse on Pokemon that's super fast advanced. Goodbye, Gwen. Wow, you gave me less money than the other girl over there. Less and less. Ooh, hey, a flying type trainer. Wait, why am I not on my bike again? Why does that always happen to me? Alright, I'm gonna split this video and I mean this uh, route into two parts. Because you do get to a part coming up where it kinda separates and the trainers all change. So that's where I'm gonna end the video, and then in the next part we'll actually continue on from there. But we still got a few trainers to fight before I end the video. So, this part will be quite a bit longer than other videos I've been uploading lately. Same with, um, the Donkey Kong episode that I'm uploading today, which is the Forest World. Um, I forget what they call it in that game. You'll still see it if you watch part 2, I Cranky tells you what it is. Something, is it something Valley? Yeah, it's something Valley, um, I can't remember. For the life of me, I can't remember right now. But I do have my next Let's Plays picked out for after Pokemon, Donkey Kong, and Mario. Mario will be the first one to be finished, if all goes according to plan, because I'll do... It'll probably be three or four more videos before I end that game. Yes, I know it's getting close to the ending, but I'm assuming that's when it's going to be done. I don't know if I'm going to record the next part tonight, because I do just want to upload the parts that I record the same day. So I'm not really 100% sure. Now I- okay, there's nothing over here. There's a poison trainer there, and ooh, another birdie trainer over here, which is another target for our new Aurora Beam attack. You're not going to lose, eh? The wind's blowing your way. You bird keepers better not have a ton of Pokemon. You guys have a ton of Pokemon. Seriously, way too many Pokemon. I'm just gonna Aurora Beam them all. Now is this guy that has a bunch of Spearows and one Fero? Oh yeah, and it's the last battle I didn't see, I fought a Fero for the first time. Wasn't very menacing, was it? I mean, I also got a Pidgey. I'm just gonna Water Pulse it, because I have, like, so many more Water Pulses left than Aurora Beams. Well, not that many more, but still more. What's your next Pokemon? Another Pidgey? Eh. We'll stay in. Just use another Water Pulse. Quick attack. Ow. Water poles. Let's see if we can break 150. Let's try for 151 in this level. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, 151. Look at that HP grow. And decent special attack and special defense. And another Spearow. I know I should switch, but I'm just gonna finish its trainer off. Aurora B. Goodbye, Spearow. Now, do you have a Firo or a Pidgeotto or anything big? No, you have Diddly Squat. Diddly Diddly Squat. 
dude. Wait, wait, okay, what's do 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 Guess the game this music's off of. Oh yeah. So you guys can get that, you'll win a free copy of Pokemon Fire Red. And I mean it, I have another game actually. So, if you wanna win that, guess the game that that uh, track was off of that I kinda hummed out loud. Hey, biker. Um, you look like you're lost, and looks like you're doing some burnouts in the grass, cause it's all, uh, you know, low. Jared and his coughings, oh, poison types. Charizard, kill. Ah, I love Flanthor, it just annihilates these stupid poison types. Like, look at that, you level up so fast. Almost don't even, really, you're gonna be over-leveled again, did you? Can't you calm down with your leveling? Level too fast, buddy. Way too fast. Eh. 118 for HP. You're pretty good in HP, too. And last Pokemon is another coughing. Kind of figures that you'll just use the same Pokemon all over. Typical poison type trainers. Au revoir, Monsieur Coffin. Now fork over the cash. That's very little. I'm disappointed, bub. Hey, let's use Rise now, the most beat up Pokemon on my team. Okay, now actually this marks Route 14. So, in the next part, we'll actually be doing Route 14 as its own video. Thank you guys all for watching.